Hello, Bacha. Let's read the question. A stone falls freely under gravity. It covers h1 distance from t equals to 2 seconds to 4 seconds and h2 distance from t equals to 6 seconds to 8 seconds. Find the relation between h1 and h2. So, Bacha, here our key concept is motion under gravity. So, which are whenever a particle is thrown from a height, let's say h, so the highest point per velocity hoga that will be zero, or acceleration yaha hoga equal to acceleration to do gravity. So, you have equations of motions ho jayengi, v square is equal to 2gh, uh, v is equal to gt, and h is equal to half gt square. Now, according to question, the so, distance covered between 2 to 4 seconds is h1. So, to do it, we will do it in the distance covered in first 2 seconds. Lenge. So, distance covered in t is equal to 2 seconds. Let's say ki wo s2 hai. that will be equal to half g t square so this is equal to 2g aise tarah se distance covered in t is equal to 4 seconds s4 to ho jayega half g 4 square ye ho jayega 8g ab bachcho jo h1 hai that is the distance covered between 2 to 4 seconds. So h1 will be equal to s4 minus s2 that is 8g minus 2g that is 6g. So this is equation 1. Now distance covered in 6 seconds. Let's say ki wo S6 hai, that will be equal to half G6 uh, square. So this is equal to 18 G. Is it say distance covered in T is equal to 8 seconds? So wo jayega S8 half G8 square. This is equal to 32g. So, you have h2 ajaiga. h2 is equal to s8 minus s6, 32g minus 18g, that is equal to 14g. You have to relation between h1 and h2. So, h1 is 6g and h2 is 14g. So this is equal to 6 by 14, 3 by 7. Now uh, dividing 3 by 7 will be equal to 0 0.428 or we can say that h2 is equal to h1 is equal to 0 0.428 times h2 or h2 is equal to 2.33 times h1. So distance uh, covered in the time t equals to 6 to 8 seconds is more as compared to the distance uh, covered in t equals to 2 to 4 seconds. So this is our final answer. I hope you understood it well. Best of luck.